Good evening and welcome to the News at 10. A family of four in Meridian looking to rebuild their lives after a fire destroyed their home and they almost lost everything inside it. Joey Prechtel met them today as they were going through the house trying to find items that could be saved. And while they're doing so, they also took a moment to consider how close they came to not getting out alive. Yeah, Brian and Gretchen, 30 seconds to a minute may not seem like that much time, but to Casey Martinez, Martinez and her family, that time was the difference between life and death. As firefighters told them afterwards, if they had stayed in just that much longer, they wouldn't have made it out. Now they're tasked with rebuilding and finding a new normal. Welcome to my abode. Adele Reed is walking into her home damaged by a fire. It doesn't look that bad from the outside. But taking a step through the front door reveals the actual amount of damage. All the furniture's gone. Nothing can be saved. The kitchen turned black by the smoke and heat from the flames. There's not one inch of this house that's not covered. The living room covered in ashes and soot from a fire believed to be caused by an extension cord. The items left over turned into melted pieces of plastic. I mean, the TV is melted on the ground. <laughs> Few memories survived the flames. His picture cut out that you know, those are pictures we're hoping to be able to save. While certain rooms might look okay, nearly everything must go from the smoke damage. We've shed our tears. At one point you wonder if it would have been better if everything would have burned to the ground because it's kind of the same result. Yep. But Reed and her daughter, Casey Martinez, and her grandson Antonio look for items to recover. You want to get you know, family pictures, anything, the memorabilia. Pictures like this one of Casey and her two boys. We're going to try. Her youngest, Gabe, was at a friend's house the night of the fire, but he, like the rest of the family, are left with almost nothing. And the three that were home barely made it out. Because the smoke was so intense that 30 seconds to another minute, the smoke would have taken us and we wouldn't have made it out. But Antonio got everyone outside. And I heard the alarms go off and I saw the glow of the fire coming, coming down the hallway. So I woke my mom and my grandma up. So mom and grandma can only think of one word to call him. Oh my, he's a hero completely. And I said he's going to get have to get used to that, but I'm going to be calling him that for a long, long time. Now, the family also credits having working smoke alarms for saving their life because that's what alerted Antonio to the fire. They are planning on rebuilding that home, but it will take at least five months. In the meantime, a GoFundMe has been set up for them because as you saw, everything must go. We have that link on our website. Guys. Well, if there's any reason for me to go home and check the batteries in my smoke alarm, that's That it. would be a reason, yep. definitely.